Hello Doraemons, welcome back to the channel. So for this today's video, we are going to take a very different question and which is a recent question which is asked in the IRA. So let's get started. I'm pretty excited for this video because it has a different set of data and you can have a different learning from this video. So let's get started. So I have taken the 29 number IRA question which is asked a few days back. So let's get into the data. So we have a table which we usually get and uh, they have given a little explanation about the data. They said if TM1234 represents this, TM represents the test match and then this number represents the pair ID and this number represents the number of matches played by them. So this is the format of the data which is given you over here and going to the question. So here, write a unique command to print the player IDs of all one day matches with number of matches played by the player greater than 300. As you know, like I just mentioned, this is the number of matches played by the player in a day and we have to only consider one day matches. So here we should only consider these three data and if it is three if it is greater than 300 we should print this entire column like this entire thing okay so here they have a little bit tricked us like they have given the data which has to be processed in a single column with a different field separator so this is one of the trick and it is very simple yet to solve even it is a little bit tricky if you know the basic concepts so don't worry i'm here to teach that to you okay so let's get into the sample input and output here you can see they have given the entire data and only the output is this one little column data over here so we have to check these things and then we have to print this entire row so that's what we are going to do so as these two have here different field separators as they have mentioned the field separators come on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change every comma by an underscore so now we can take each of these values into a single columns so this will be taken as column like dollar one this will be dollar two and this will be dollar three and this row will be dollar four and this will be dollar five so it has a little code which makes this change which is called as tr so we have to put the existing field separator and we have to replace it with an underscore so now let's run it you can see boom here you can see all the commas are replaced by an underscore so now we can just easily take these five rows and except for the one here in the top you have these only three columns so this might lead to a confusion so you should just remove it and also in the sample and input and output you can see this column names is given in the input and it does not get existing in output so it's not required as uh, in the last video I thought you know, like a little pipelining so we can pass the output from one command into another command is unix it's an advantage which is very useful when you handle the tables so i'm going to pass this data which i got in the output into the awk command again so let's get into the awk command and are the little single quotes with the begin and our curly braces which has the field separator and we are going to mention it as underscore okay so now if i print print dollar one comma dollar two you can see let's run it we have got only this the first two column data and to remove the first column names we are going to use this nr which you may take it as the row number and the row number will be one two three four five six so if it is greater than one it should start from two and it will take the data only which is in the table and it will not consider the column names so now if i run it you will get only the data boom 
and now it is very easy to solve it so we have to just check whether this column one is on and the dollar three which is column three is greater than 300 so now if i run it as you can see from the data this is the only row which matches the criteria which is given in the code so now we are going to the code and i'm going to put two conditions if dollar one is equal to equal to om and the dollar three which is column three should be greater than 300 so this is the base condition which is given and we are going to print the rows as such as is just shown in the sample output it is separated by the underscore there are different ways to make it to change things to underscore but this is the only way that i can suggest which will give you no errors and it is yet easy so just replace in between over here just put the underscore just pretending that we doesn't perform any operation with the column data and now you can say and one more thing is here I have given small om whereas in the input data it is capital so in such cases if you want to compare without the case matching here you can do ignore case equals one and equal one is true it will ignore the case and then it will compare that's it so now if I run boom our output is already ready that's how we perform it and we have one more input which has no player found in one day match with match count greater than 300 so to do, do do this i'm going to declare a little variable which i'll take it as count and i'm giving the value as zero and here if it even prints one row i'm going to omit this line no player found in one day so if it prints even one time it should become one and here in the end part I'm going to give check a little condition like if count is equal to equal to zero only if it is equal to equal to zero we should print this one no um, no player found in one day match with the match count greater than 300 so let me just copy paste it because no one types these days okay and yeah make sure you don't miss out any mistakes over here and it is a very simple code it's a little amount of concepts that you have to remember and now if I run it we have the same code and now changing the inputs here just it just now running it boom and yet yeah, this is the solution for the 29th november 2021 question it's very easy and you can try it out like uh, comment down below whether you have just cracked this question in the ira if not don't worry i'm here to help you and you can do it eventually so i'll meet you in the next video Bye bye and if you liked my video just give it a thumbs up and I'll be posting every alternative day. Just subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out the new videos and solutions. And don't stop learning, keep rocking. Bye bye Doremons, I'll see you in the next one.